Welcome back. In our last video, we learned how to name organic molecules from their structures. Today, we're going to flip the process. Instead of starting with the formula, we'll begin with the name and carefully build the structures step by step. Before we dive into the example, let's quickly review how an organic name is organized. Every IUPAC name has three parts. First, the prefix, which tells us about the substituents and where they're attached. Second, the parent, which gives the main carbon chain. And finally, the suffix, which reveals the type of compound, whether it's an alkane, an alkene, an alcohol, or something else. All right, let's try one together. 2, 2, 5 trimethylheptane. We'll start with the parent. The word heptane has two parts. The root hept tells us that the main chain contains seven carbons. The ending ane is the suffix for alkanes, which means all of those carbons are connected by single bonds. So our backbone is a straight chain of seven carbons. Next comes the prefix, 2,2,5-trimethyl. This tells us we have three methyl groups in total. The word tri confirms there are three, and the numbers show us their positions. Two of them are attached to carbon number two, and the third one is attached to carbon number five. The last step is simple, but very important. Once the backbone and the substituents are in place, we complete the structure by adding hydrogens. Remember, each carbon atom must form four bonds in total. Let's go through it one by one. Carbon one is at the end of the chain. It's attached to only one carbon, so it still needs three hydrogens. Carbon two already has four bonds. 1 to carbon 1, 1 to carbon 3, and 2 to the methyl groups. That means it's completely satisfied and doesn't need any hydrogens. Carbon 3 and carbon 4 are in the middle of the chain. Each one is bonded to two other carbons, so they simply need two hydrogens to complete their four bonds. Carbon 5 is connected to carbon 4, carbon 6 and one methyl group, making three bonds. That leaves room for just one hydrogen. Carbon-6 is bonded to carbon-5 and carbon-7, so it needs two hydrogens. Finally, carbon-7 is at the other end of the chain, connected only to carbon-6. So, just like carbon-1, it will need three hydrogens. And that's it. We've built the structure of 2,2,5-trimethylheptane directly from its name.